Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing on this lovely morning? Today is Saturday, November 11th. Honey, it's 11-11 today. This is pretty beautiful. All right, thank you, Lord, for allowing me and you to be here together. Thank you, dear Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you for opening up our eyes and letting us see the new beginnings. Pisces, I want to say thank you a million and one for being here. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your sharing and liking. Thank you for the people to go onto my webpage and purchase items for me. By the way, the young lady, this lady, this young lady named Kathleen Hampshire from Arizona. Um, if you are watching me today, you can reach me at 609-892-9469. I did leave you an email. Um, so um, if you like to, please reach out to me um, because um, this leave me alone oil that you order, that you say you didn't receive, it went out to you. So um, please reach out to me. Um, I do have a phone number listed under here, so um, if you don't like something about me or you want to complain about me, please reach out to me. I'm grown. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to bite you. I'm not, you know, uh, you can reach out to me. Um, and I mean that. Kathleen, Kathleen Hampton. Uh, from Arizona with your leave me alone oil, please reach out to me. It is not that damn serious. And since you put me out there, I'm talking to you. Please do not do that to me. If it's something I don't like, is somebody to do things to me that is that petty. I'm going to say it again. The oil that you order, leave me alone, um, that's exactly what you did to me. Okay, so I'm putting your whole name out there, okay? Kathleen Hampton from Arizona. With your oil, leave me alone that you received, all right? Um, it's only $12, sweetie. It's not that big of a deal, but don't do that to me because I'm putting, I'm saying your whole name. Um, don't play with me like that, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, so I, I, I reach out to you and I left your email, all right? Because when you want to complain about me and you can't reach out to me for $12.95, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I keep telling people, do not play with me. I'm not the one to play with. There's a phone number there and it's my phone number. Nobody leaves their phone number but me. I don't care how old you are and who you are. Don't do that to me. All right? I have a good heart. Do not do that to me. You could have reached out to me. All right? To me. All right? For $12.95. It's not that serious. Kathleen Hampton from Arizona. I'll send you an email and you can reach out to me, sweetie. All right? And I know you received your oil. All right? And you can pay me back my money. Thank you. Now. I will put that out there because I left you an email. You did not reach back. So now I'm just telling you straight up and open. Yeah, that's how I get down. And leave me alone. What's the oil she ordered? Ain't that something? Mm -mm -mm. Black Magic Spellbreaker Candle. This is for people, for people that don't want the best for you. This is for troublemakers, all right, chaotic people. This is that, all right, this is that. And trust me when I tell you, it's an oil in there called Leave Me Alone. <laughs> yeah, that, that's in there. So for anybody that feel like something is not right or somebody's treating you wrong or they're doing witchcraft or voodoo or who do to you, who do to you, okay? Or they do not see um, just being downright evil. 
don't want the best for you. All right. Um, this is the candle. All right. This is the abundant prosperity, healing, growth, fertility, and nurture candle. All right. And this is the love yourself candle. And that's the candle that should be um burning. All right. This is the justice candle. And this is what I burn, okay, on my altar all the time. I burn this candle all the time. To the day I die, it will burn. I believe in justice. I believe in being fair. All right? And I'm big when it comes to that. My birthday is February 19th. I'm not a March Pisces. I am the door of a Pisces. The door. That means the first day that we become Pisces. Leaving Aquarius into Pisces, that is me. That means I do not play. I do not take size. I believe in what it is. And let me tell you, I stand up for what it is. All right? Um, all it's about is respect. All right? That's you, we come a long way when you give people respect. All right? And the thing is that say what you got to say. Say what you got to say. This should be to say what you got to say without having somebody's hand tied up behind their back and somebody just punching on them and just abusing them, all right, and downgrading them and belittling them, right, and throwing people under the bus. And that is just this. Like, don't do it, all right? It's not that serious. But that candle is for... Feeling like if you go to court, if you fight in a court case, if somebody is um, throwing your name under the bus um, and you want to clear your name, if somebody is lying about you, okay, lying about you, if somebody is, um, you got um, tickets, um, um, child support, um, divorce, um, uh, legal matters, okay, um, criminal charges, okay, or just people just want to um, accuse you of doing something, all right, or they feel like, you know, like just being shisty and downright evil, all right, that candle is for that. This is the sage, and it comes with two Palo Santo, and I use this, um, uh, bay leaf to um, write on and burn whatever I got to send out to the universe. Today is the 11-11 and um, on the 13th is the new moon. And honey, I will be burning that um, matches pearl breaker candle because I do not like chaos and people that are messy. This is the red brick dust. And if you want anything to come out to the light and you want to see what is going on around you, put this around your door. Put this in front of your door. Put this in front of your um, apartment door, your house door. Put this there. And you will see things unravel. Okay? Unravel. That is the opposite of this. This is working on your shadow side. And guess what, Pisces? Um, this whole November thing, it is your shadow side, okay? It's seeing things for what it is. You have to accept things for what it is. And what is the next thing for you to move on to? What, you can't sit there and keep over and over and over. Uh-uh, it's time to brush yourself off and keep going, okay? Like, like the oil say, leave me alone. Yeah, leave me alone because I just brush these nonsense off. I got so much other things that I'm going to say. God says, I help those who help themselves. And I tr if, if you can only know, okay, how serious it really is, like how beautiful it can be if you just move on and not make everything in your life <clears throat> so big when it's not. All right, whatever it is that you need to do, you need to do it. Whether it's moving from a place, 
whether it's getting a new job, whether it's leaving people alone, whatever it is, please do it. This is the time to do it. You're coming into the new years. Get yourself together and stop procrastinating and stop letting people make you feel like it ain't no more moving or, or let go of what is you know that it's not for you. Let it go. Let it go when when you feel like somebody is telling you, oh, I love you, but they don't. And, and you know, and or they lie about the littlest things. If they lie about something little, imagine the bigger things they will lie about. Okay? You just need to understand that you need to wrap things up and let and throw what's not what listen, there's a trash can for a reason. And it is called throwing trash away. Alright? Now, this is a stone and this is a black stone and this is a crystal. There is difference between them, okay? Um, I do have my evil eye on. I do have my oil. My oil, I don't. Sorry, but it will be on there. And this is the Jesus oil, honey. If people order oil. You need the oil, the Messiah oil. Okay, the Messiah. All right, it, honey, that's the best oil you can have is the Messiah oil. My jewelry, my jewelry, my evil eye and my chakras. Honey, I am protected. Do you understand? I got eyes all over me. You're damn right. I see things even when I'm sleeping. All right. This is the uh, um, spirit detox salt. And this is the salt that we all need. Okay. To detox. We all need to constantly detox ourselves. Even if you don't have a tub, use it in, in a and just put it over you, put a bucket in or whatever it is, and put it over you. Just sprinkle it over you. Put it over you, your body. All right? Um, you will feel so much better when you take some of that dead skin off of you and all of this dead stuff that you got around you, off of you. All right? I also got herbs in a bag. Okay? Now, Pisces. It's important that you understand what moving on means. And I'm going to say something, you Pisces. Sometimes we think we know people and we believe what they say, but it's nothing but lies. All right. So just believe that if somebody is lying to you and you accept a lie, a little lie, that lie will linger around and they will always have to lie. To cover up that lie in the next one and the next one. Honey, life is so You just don't understand. I cannot walk on eggshells. No, 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 no. I cannot walk on eggshells. I, it's, I'm not built to walk on eggshells. I'm, I'm really not. Um, But God is good. And when you stand up and you, you tell, you say what you want to say and mean it. Your words come out so powerful. I'm going to say something to you. And this is a clear example. I worked at this job for years. And when I stopped working, it is when God opened the door for this, what I'm doing now. But the thing was that I worked very hard at that job. And I loved that job because that job was the one that gave me the opportunity. When I first came home from doing time and... It was so crazy the way that I thought that they these people really respected me and all. Oh, they really showed me their true colors. Um, along the way, I just wanted to work one day a week or two days because I got my lash business, this and that, that and this. And somehow, some way, the communication wasn't clear. But I made that clear because, see, what God does, he made stuff happen. He made things happen for you that you don't even expect it to be coming. And when they asked me, oh, can you work this and that? I said, no. You know what I said? Because my YouTube comes before anything. I didn't tell them I have a lash business. I didn't tell them everything else I got going on in my life. But I said my YouTube comes first and I cannot leave people that's getting readings today. Tell them I, I, I canceled their readings to go work for you. He said, well, you can make 250 
I said, I don't care how much I'm making. I will not put my business behind for your business. It don't work that way. I felt so proud of myself because I never thought I would be talking to them like that. But I cannot allow, if I would have went and put my readers on hold for them, it would have meant that I'm putting myself second again and I'm not going to do it ever again. I would stand up for myself. And I mean stand up for myself. All right? It's either this. Either they, they want me or they don't. Okay? Um, they make the decision whether they want me me to be there for them because if they don't it's their decision I don't care I'm going to continue to do what I got to do all right here we go um also I want to say um is this lady that passed away today and she passed away at um she passed away at 4 17 this morning and she was a missionary and she passed away and um, she came to me in someone's reading and she was like the Pope and she passed away today and I just want to say her wings are flying so high and I'm glad to have met her. My spirits, my prayers, she can keep me in her prayers because her gateways are wide open. I've never met her. I met her through a reading and she came out in a reading Three times, back to back to back. I am glad to have met her. And today, at 417, she received all her wings. And I'm so glad to have met her. So I feel like she's my angel and she's my Mother Teresa. They have not yet come to pick up her body. And um, the young lady that takes care of her is, um, is um, texting me, telling me that she's with her. I'm just so, so happy that she's finally gone. And I told Pisces, tell her it's all right for her to go. It's okay. Her doors, when I tell you that, ladies' doors, they are blowing the horns for her. And it's nothing but archangels blowing the horns for her doors. And her gate is wide open. It's like... She has horns blowing from our archangel, and God is right there. She is such beautiful, and I met her soul right here at a reading. I'm just so grateful to have met her. And she she passed away 11-11, okay? Uh, it is amazing. Is amazing. New beginnings. So, prayers to my angels and not condolence. No, no condolence. Um, Pisces, please send her nothing but white hearts. No condolence. Because she is a true angel. And I got to meet her soul. 
Come on, Pisces. Let's get down to this reading. All right, Archangel and Jonah R., please allow me to do this reading and to remove any negative energy that is surrounding. And today is 1111. Oh my God, I'm just amazed. Happy, happy me. The first call you got is moving on, the will of fortune. Look at this a butterfly on her finger. The will is moving. The will of fortune is moving. That means somebody here, and, and you're looking at the past, and the will of fortune is saying, move on. Turn your back towards the door and move on. You don't have to want to make... Somebody has... Is trans... Is somebody going through a major transformation? Um, But the thing is, you're going through a major transformation from this past, you can move on from it. You can say, listen, I buried my past and I'm ready for the future. And it's like you tra it's like you sitting there and somebody is seeing a butterfly. Um, this is funny because um uh I had one of my Pisces tell me that where she work at, she has seen a yellow butterfly. <laughs> and I think it was yesterday she told me this. When she Friday, which was yesterday. She told me she was at work and she seen a yellow butterfly. And there it is. It's telling you, girl, Louise, girlfriend, you have made a transformation. And to you made a decision to say, I'm not going to allow this to put me down. I'm going to move forward. Right? And that's the best decision you can make is to move forward. You have so much beautiful things, luck, everything, because you cannot, you cannot control a situation. You must move on. This is like time loops ends and saying, I'm going to go, all right? Because time moves on, years move on, minutes move on, seconds move on. Every minute, second, every hour it's important to your life because time waits for nobody. You don't know if today is your last day. You need to move on and not allow nothing to stop you. Nothing. You need to leave, live your life in like it's your last day on this earth. Okay? You cannot let, you cannot live your life for nobody but yourself. And I'm going to say this to you. I know a lot of people that says, well, I'm, I'm living my life for my kids and I got to make sure, girl, if, if if you die today, today, or men, Pisces, women, men, whatever, you die today, you die alone, you're not taking your kids, you can't stop your kids from allowing you to live your life, they're living their life, they're going to always live their life, people, people, Parents die when they babies, when they little. Like, I was fortunate my that my mom passed away, my dad, when I was grown and I lived on my own. Some kids' parents die when they babies and they little and they are raised by um family member or they're giving away, you know. But you need to live your life to the fullest because you never know when your number is up. Never. I also had... um. And this is all happening for me. I also have Miss um, Laura. And she is a beautiful person. This is the lady that means the world to me. Her friend, father passed 104 years old. And he died the same day of his birthday. He passed away the day of his birthday. How many tombstones do you see that says the same day you was born is the same day you passed away? The only difference is the year. He lived 104. And he died on the day of his birthday. Uh, do you understand? That was, and this is the second um death with these dates and these times. That is coming to me. It's major transformation in my life. 
in your life. Pisces, please embrace it. Embrace it because you don't understand. Life is too short to keep looking and trying to fix somebody else. You are the solution to the problem. And don't you ever forget that. Okay? Ever. You the solution to the problem. All right? Now, let's move on. One foot in, one foot out. No, you got to go all in. Somebody's exercising. Somebody's starting to eat right. Somebody's taking care of themselves, right? You need to balance yourself. You need to balance your spirituality with the real world. You need to really see, you know, you cannot sit there and just constantly um, do one thing. You need to do things in moderation. You need to bring balance. You need to stop juggling and saying, oh, I got one foot in and one foot out today. I'm going to do exercise tomorrow. I'm not. Today, I'm going to pray to uh, I'm today and tomorrow. I'm not. Okay. Today, I'm going to stop drinking soda and, 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 and tomorrow, I'm going to drink 10 sodas. Um, I'm going to party and I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to party. All right. I'm going to leave this person and, um, but I'm still there. I'm going to leave the job, but I, I'm afraid to leave the job or I'm just afraid to move on. No, you need to make sure that what you doing is what you're going to do all right you can't have one foot in and one foot out you can't be juggling this is art michael honey this is get the, the the masculine in you if you're a man get the feminine in you get it right all right you need to get it you need to bring balance into your life you need to get a realignment you need to go get a somebody do a chakra on you you know the uh, somebody that does chakra somebody that does reiki all right, somebody gets massage. You need to get your your body back in alignment. You understand because you need it. You really need it. Okay, you need to get to find out what is right for you and um, what should I do? Um, it's like I don't know if you want to take a trip. You don't know where you want to live. Um, okay, you got all kinds of things going on. You sit in front of a computer. I got the next thing to do, and the next thing is this, and I need to do it. All right. All right, you got the nine of wands. Look at this, the nine of wands. All right, the nine of wands, baby. All right, um, something hit it, and it came out with the um, temperance. All right, the nine of wands is like saying to you, listen, it's time for me to get this thing going. Right, the nine of wands is, I'm saying. I'm doing too much. I need to bring balance into whatever it is that I'm doing because it's like persevering, all right? Um, obstacles, all right? Setting boundaries, all right? You're, you're tired. You try your best to be a hero for everyone. But on the inside, you cannot take it anymore. Right, you um feel that everything is falling apart and time is running out. It is the side of you that you don't want others to see being overwhelmed and blocked. That means you need to stay focused. You need to be balanced. You need to decide what you're gonna do and do it. You can't be oh I'm gonna do it and don't do it. You need to do it. Because you sitting here, it's like you doing all this, but at the end of the day, um, look, it's somebody here that sees you, but it's also some, and it's keep saying, you need to find out what you want to do. You need to find out what you want to do, okay? Um, also, Sagittarius. So this is dealing with somebody that is, a fire sign, okay, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, what that will of fortune, Sagittarius, and Sagittarius again, so somebody, you know, it's saying, you got all this responsibility, it's time for you to find out what, what, what you're going to do with all of this responsibility, okay, um, you need to get to going, okay, um, you need to all right. Uh, two days. Today's day. I'm 
you need to get going. It's like you've been in a situation here that it's time for you to go all in. All right. And the Ace of Cups doing stuff that you love. Look at you. The Queen of Pentacles. All right. Ace of Cup is doing what you love to do. And the Queen of Pentacles, a star. It's like you need to decide what you're going to do. What you're going to do. What you're going to do. What, what is going to be the best thing for me to do. What job do I want? What's next in my life? All right. Um, you can't be all over the place. Like, it's somebody here that's doing want this, that, that, that. Um, trying to figure out what they want to do. You know. Now what? Maybe you got a business or maybe you, you know, you want to start a business or you got a business or you got too many jobs or you got too many responsibilities or you overwhelm and you're trying to find out what, what do I want to do? But you, but whatever it is, it's got a lot of love here, all right? Or either that or I feel like it's time to move on from a situation and you're really getting your life together and you figuring out what you want. But somebody here is also saying, I'm overwhelmed with everything that's going on in my life. They're really overwhelmed, okay? And then they're looking at you, whoever this person is, is looking at you like, I want to give you everything. Somebody is overwhelmed by making a decision. Somebody is overwhelmed because they don't know. They got one foot in and one foot out. But, honey, you are the queen of pentacles. Like, you really, you like a celebrity. You got it going on. You... You a motherly type. You you will give anything to anybody. You are put together. You are a business person. You can handle everything it is. You looking at the phone. It's like, honey, you you saying I can get this popping why? But it's here saying make a decision. You know, you're doing too much. You're very overwhelmed. But I feel like you're gonna handle whatever it is. And if it is somebody that wants you, because this person is right there, honey. Right there. Oh, I got all this, but what do I want to do? Shit, my Pisces here, but what do I want to do? Oh, I want to, you know, I don't know if, if my Pisces, I don't know what I, I, I but I, I don't know what I want to do. If you mess with a touch, that, but I don't know what I want to do, but I see Pisces working it, working it, working it, but I'm overwhelmed with everything and nobody knows what I'm going through, but I love, I got love for Pisces, but Pisces my queen, baby. Yeah, Pisces, your damn queen. You're damn right. But when you lost and you trying to make me feel like I'm uncomfortable, then it's a problem. Then I just got to sweep your ass away from me and tell you to get going. It's like somebody here is like, um, you know, the will of fortune. But you have made a transformation to look good, to feel good, to, to bring, to align yourself with what you need to do. And somebody is like, I'm overwhelmed. I, I wish I could tell Pisces everything that, I, that I'm doing. But I can't tell Pisces everything that I'm doing. But I love my Pisces. I mean, I would love her, and, but, um, but no, Pisces is like saying, I love, love ain't got shit to do with shit. What love's got to do with any damn thing? Okay, you love me. You got all this love for me. You, you want to marry me. You want everything with me. Oh, yeah, because, um, why they want to marry you? Why they want to be a part of you? Because you got shit going on. Because you're put together. Because it seems like you can handle everything that, that you can have, if they was in your shoe, they won't be able to do everything you do. But um, but they see that you are put together, honey. And see, when men see that women is put together and the people that they see on the side is not, then, oh, they want to be with somebody that's put together where they can lean on you. You can't lean on them, but they can lean on you. All right? So this person, even if they was in love with somebody else or whatever it is, they want to be with you because it's like you you got everything or you can do, you make everything seems easy. Like they won't even be able to wear your shoes even if they wanted to. Like I said, you need to give yourself more credit than you do because somebody here is like, I, I want to be somewhere, but I'm in love. It's like they're in love with, they could be in love with somebody else, but they're in love with you because you got it going on or because... They know what you, they don't fall short. They, you know, whatever it is, they overwhelmed by their own situations. They overwhelmed because they don't know what they want to do. They got one foot in and one foot out. They overwhelmed because they don't want to say how they really living with all the chaos in their lives, right? But then they look at you and they want all of this. In the meantime, they want things to move on. Like, 
Oh, like, I'm not going to do this to you again. And Oh, right, because they see that you are put together. They want you to believe I got all of this. It's like, Pisces, you, you have so much love. So much love. And this is the, 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 the Ace of Cup. It's like the universe is giving you all this love. And you can handle everything that you're getting. But it's also telling you, don't fall short for people that don't want the best for you. All right? Because they want to, they see you put together and they want to overwhelm you with all the problems. And like you sitting there saying, you know, they don't know what kind of shit I'm going through. Right? It's like too much on one person. And people don't see that you got all this on, but you got somebody that want to be with you because they feel like you got it going on. You got a roof over here. You keep food on the table. All of this, like you can do this on your own and they know it. And a man loves when um, they were a person that can handle their business. They love that. You know, they don't want to be with somebody that they can't lean on or got somebody leaning on them. Oh, no, they want to be with somebody that they can lean on. All right, for everything, not for one thing, for everything. So make sure that you... You know, you may be with a with a man here that wants to is a man, but it's it's a child. It acts like a little kid. Want you to be putting all the weight on you, right? And don't even know how much responsibilities you have. But it's asking you to move on, honey. You can you can do this. Or um somebody here is like um wanting to to do what they want to do and put the weight on you and have you on eggshell. Because they know that you can handle everything, but they want to live on with their life and do what they want to do. You may be dealing with, it's a lot of Sagittarius here. It's a lot of um, um, Fireside, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You, you, you come in on your own, the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. It's like you, whatever it is, Spicy, you're doing, you're going to be doing very well. All right? Just be calm. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. The World of Fortune is the death card. You're going through, you can't make this up. I said, move on. You're going through a transformation with that butterfly. And there it is. There it is. Somebody cut the hair. Somebody's going, somebody is going through a death light, letting the old part of them move, like getting rid of something here, looking at yourself and saying, now it's time for me to go. Okay, now I got to go. All right, it's like you, this part of you is gone. This, whatever it is that you had to move on from, you, it's like you let it go. Like you're not living that part anymore. You, you mourning that. You gone. It's like you, I don't know, somebody did a ritual. They cut their hair. They color their hair. Whatever it is, it's like you're out of there. All right, you, you're not going to go back into the past. You're not going to be the person you used to be. You're not going to live that. You're going to move on. All right, tell me more about this temperance and this nine of wands. The nine of pentacles, baby. Like, you are really going to be doing a lot. You got the nine of wands. Being, it's like temperance, one foot in, one foot out. Have to balance yourself, feel good about yourself. Stop drinking, start taking care of your life, start taking care of your health, like really start taking care of you. And the nine of wands, let go of all this shit that ain't for you, that don't want the best for you. Let go of carrying everybody's problems. Let go of, um, you know, being overwhelmed because it shows that from you being so overwhelmed and getting your life back together, now you are, you know, like having it all. Look, you go from, look, look how you did this. You go doing all of this. Look at this major transformation. Look at this transformation. You you getting your life back together. All right? You putting yourself first. And that's the way it should be. The Nine of Pentacles is very well put together. Self-made. Okay? The Nine of Swords is like somebody here is the Ace of Cup and the Queen of Pentacles like you have it all. And even though you got a lot of nines here, honey, a lot of nines, persevere, persevere, okay? Attachment, a wish fulfillment, right? It's like whatever it is, Pisces, it's time for you to say, let me get rid of this. And let me tell you something, Pisces, 
Um, even though you going through a lot of transformation, a lot, a lot of books, a lot of studying, it's a lot. Even though you're going through a lot, even though you've been through a lot, don't you may be going through a lot, but you still really you can move on from somebody, but it's the hardest thing that you have done to move on because you still think it is. You this still is fresh in your mind. Like you can be doing good, you can be, but it's something here that you feel a loss. Like you still have whatever you went through is reminding you. Or you remind yourself of this. It's like you reminding yourself of everything you've been through. Even though you can, you, you over, over, overcoming something, but it's still, it's like that, that residue, that dust that is on you. It's like this weight is still on you about what you went through. But let me tell you, Pisces, because you had a lot of love for this. Not, it's like you love, but you still are morning this here you still feel like oh my god it's like when you go to bed you think about it you know what i mean you think about this throughout the day you may be fighting yourself not to but you can't help yourself okay you can't help yourself how you feel all right you can't help it right yes you put together but you still can't help what you going through. You can't help. It's a reminder. It's it's like whatever it was, you had a lot of love for this person, but but you a star, honey, but you can't help how you feel. It's like this is in your head. It's like I wish I could reconstruct the person the way I want them to be. I would love to love you and have you love me. I would love to fix things, but baby, you can't be trying to love somebody, fix them, or try to make things right when somebody don't want it to be right, all right? They, if they don't want it, they don't want it. Tell me more about this death. The eight of wands, okay? Something's going to be happening quickly, or this, all of this transformation is happening fast, moving very fast. Once you decide to, I'm done, and I know I'm done, because I can't go back to that. You know, I got to stay in my lane, okay? Um, also, with the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, somebody is feeling mad because you winning. Somebody feels mad because you done said, I'm done. Now I'm moving on. I'm finished with this shit. It's nothing left for me to fight for. I'm done. But somebody's mad as fuck that you're moving on. What is this nine of swords? Somebody is heated that you, honey, they are mad. All right? Um, you may be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. You may be dealing with a Air Sagittarius a Leo. You are damn sure moving on from this. This is a lot of um, this is a lot of uh fire sign here. A lot of fire sign. It's like I feel like you moving on to something different, something better. And you start in this big fire. It's like it's a fire inside of you. And that fire start like that. But you don't put that shit up all the way to 10. It's like you saying, I'm going for this. And I'm going to leave this alone. Because I know this is good for me. But I know it's like, I know this water is better than soda. I know that this carrot is better than a, a, a cupcake. I know that this person here is not good for me. I know that this job is not good for me. I know that I need to start this. I need to stop putting procrastinating. I need to move on. And that's the best thing for me to do is to move on, right? But even though you're moving on in all of this, the nine of swords is like you cannot stop thinking because this it's like you need to do shadow work. You need to really burn, do some cleansing on yourself because you're blind there. It's like you feel like, oh, my God, I'm alone. Oh, my God. It's like at the end of you and at the end of you doing very well, you still feel like this because it's it's here setting priorities. It's like, honey, you, you got to make a choice. All right. This is about I can't let somebody throw me off. The minute you go back to seeing somebody or doing something, they throw you off of your goals, your past, what you got to do for yourself. Somebody can come back in your life and throw, throw you completely off, all right, of where you are heading to, which way you're going, 
All right. Somebody here needs to make a choice between their career. All right. A decision needs to be made. All right. You, I feel like this is kind of hard for you to do, but you need to set priorities right, straight, straight forward. All right. You cannot let this um, hinder you. All right. Hinder your growth. I mean, it's like as soon as you let someone back in, your it just fucks up everything for you. You need to grow from this. You need to move on. All right. Pisces, if you need a reading for me, get it from me or someone else. You know, I don't hate on nobody. It's enough money for everybody in the world. Know that if you ask for a reading for me, you get it today or the next day. I only do face-to-face -face reading. If you pay for a reading, I like to meet you and I want to, uh, you to meet me. All right. And that's the only way I work. I love you. Have a blessed day. I'll see you this afternoon. Bye.